Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is is in the world of biology what is in the world of the body standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and while some folks may call that a miracle it really is just the way the body works if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, formulations, ingredients, skin health issues, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are your go-to health and nutrition source on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to just contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010. 236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and we do have lines open. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can purchase products right off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Of course, you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business if you're entrepreneurially minded. If you want to start a business but you don't want the headaches of building the business with inventory and infrastructure and marketing, we do it all for you at Longevity. All you got to do is tell people about the products. Of course, the products sell themselves. Once folks try the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Star Pack, most people will notice results within two or three days. Lower blood pressure, appetite suppression, more energy. If you're dealing with a skin health challenge or a chronic degenerative disease challenge, that may take a little bit longer to resolve, but you'll notice results pretty darn quickly. Call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 for more information. Or again, you can sign up right off the website. It's criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. And of course, if you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm. If you want one product to start with, you want to start off with our Truth Serum. I get that question a lot. What do I start with? Start off with Truth Serum, then uh, either Truth Balm or Truth retinol 5% gel and if you're dealing with some kind of skin health challenge or if you just have extremely dry skin you want our truth omega-6 healing cream you can find out all about our products at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com okay we are talking connective tissue and we have been talking connective tissue and we'll continue talking to, about the connective tissue this is the bulk of the body if we are diseased in any way in terms of chronic long-term degenerative disease you cannot help but have a connective tissue problem and understanding the connective tissue is not only important for reversing chronic long-term degenerative diseases but also to help us stay young to help us to keep young uh, to maintain youth and vigor to stay younger longer it's about the connective tissue. The visible signs of aging are about the connective tissue. Disease is about the connective tissue. So for good reason, we are going to be talking about the connective tissue. Uh, we have been talking about the connective tissue, and we will continue talking about the connective tissue. The reason I love the connective tissue so much is because it exemplifies the structure and the order of the human body and of nature and of the entire universe. The universe is an, order, uh, an intelligent and an orderly place. Nature is orderly and intelligent. 
even seeming chaos and destruction has a mathematical nature that reflects order and intelligence at every turn. A, a hurricane is mathematical. A tornado is mathematical. They follow ma replicatable, mathematical, knowable laws. And likewise, the human body is orderly. It's intelligent. And this intelligence is exemplified by the omnipresent nature of the connective tissue, our mother, our protector, our nourisher. This is all from a physiologic perspective, of course. The divine matrix, the physiologic divine matrix. Disease is not a random occurrence. Just because your doctor doesn't understand the body, and make no mistake about it, your doctor does not understand the body for the most part. He understands statistics. He understands clinical. But how the body and how biochemistry is put together is not medical. And I shouldn't say your doctor. The medical model. There are some doctors, of course, who understand the human body. But it's, it doesn't serve us to assume that a doctor understands the body. This is not what they do. They understand statistics. They understand numbers. They understand symptomology, perhaps. Clinical chemistry is not biochemistry. Clinical biology is not biology. It's the biology of symptoms. They understand the biology of symptoms, but that doesn't help us get better. Disease does not occur randomly. The body is not random. Cancer is not random. Psoriasis is not random. Autoimmune disease is not random. And this means we have control. This understanding that the human body is intelligent, it's organized, it's orderly, this understanding frees us from the medical model. It frees us from the frustrating nature of medicine, from the frustrating nature of clinical medicine. By, when I say clinical, I mean symptomology. Clinical chemistry, clinical medicine is about symptoms. It's about what shows up in the clinic. That's what clinical means, what shows up in the clinic. It's not about the body. It's about the statistics. It's about the symptoms. It's about the numbers. It's about the test scores. And this is my beef with functional medicine. Functional medicine, or personalized medicine, they call it, works with your particular symptoms, your personal symptoms. But that doesn't mean that it has a, a, a positive impact on your disease state. Working with symptoms is not working with disease. It's working with the, the signs, the clinical signs. The body is, order, is orderly and intelligent, and once we understand this, we will, will be freed from medical protocols of butchery and drugs and radiation. If you ever wondered, why is it, how is it, that medicine can think, modern medicine, and again, I don't mean to attack individual doctors. There's wonderful individual doctors out there who mean well and who understand biology and biochemistry. I'm talking about the model in general. Why is it, if you've ever asked yourself, why is it that the medical model feels like drugging the body is somehow going to improve our lives, improve our health condition, that taking a drug, i.e. a poison, can somehow make us better? If you've ever wondered how the medical model can think this, that can think, how the medical model can think that electrocuting the heart with an ablation procedure, or uh, in the old days, electrocuting your brain or cutting your brain apart with a lobotomy or w with some kind of uh, electrical mechanism. That's how they used to treat seizure disorders, with electroconvulsive therapy. If you ever wondered, how can the medical model do this? It's because they don't treat the body, they treat the symptoms. They're obsessed with symptomology, and this is the nature of clinical science. This is the nature of clinical medicine. It's not their fault. They're trained in being clinicians. It's our fault for thinking that you can go to a clinical specialist and be biologically better off. It's our fault. I, I don't want to blame the doctors. I don't want to blame the medical model. We are interacting voluntarily with the medical model. We're sick, we go to the doctor. We believe the meme. We believe the mind virus. We've been infected by the mind virus, and we go for it. How do you deal with it? It, it without the medical model? How do you deal with it in, on your own? How do we deal with disease that shows up in an order, orderly and intelligent body? We track our illness back to the cause. It's as simple as that, folks. Whatever your disease is, whatever your chronic health challenge is, and I'm talking about chronic long-term degenerative challenges, not mechanical issues, not infectious issues. I'm talking about chronic long-term degenerative disease that has no solution. If your doctor has told you you're going to be in this drug the rest of your life, that's a chronic illness. That's a long-term degenerative illness. And if you are dealing with one of those, all you got to do is track it back to the cause, which always involves two factors only. 
only two factors responsible for chronic degenerative disease. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Eight, uh, 844-236-6010 is our number. Sweet Paris. Sign up pharmacist Ben got lines open 844-236-6010 is our number 844-236-6010 if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or check out our websites and blogs at pharmacistben.com criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacist uh, and brightsideben.com you can also head over to benfuchsarchives.com which is a compilation of uh, all my various websites and thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up and of course if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products head over to truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com okay 844-236-6010 is our number and we do have lines open for you if you're on hold we'll get to you here in our next segment so disease is not random Illness is not random. Chronic long-term degenerate, uh, degenerative illnesses, which account for 80% of our diseases, disease costs in this country and around the world, arthritis, autoimmune diseases, cancer, all of the things that make life miserable in terms of our physiology and our health are not random, and that is great news. That means we want to backtrack to the cause, rearrange it, fix it, troubleshoot it, and we won't be sick. It's really as simple as that. I know it's almost like it's too simple. There's only two causes of disease, too much and too little. That's it. Too much of the bad stuff, too little of the good stuff. Toxicity and deficiency, period. Those are the only two reasons why we degenerate, why we do not get our fully or take advantage of our, our, our 120 years, why we do not fully leverage our 120 years of life on this planet. Even if we make it to 80 or 90 or 100, for most of us, we're falling apart. For most of us, we're falling apart in our 30s and 40s. This is so unnecessary, and it's a direct result of two factors and two factors only. Deficiency, too little, nutrition, and too much, and oxygen also, and too much toxicity. This is all from a physiologic perspective, of course. Mental, spiritual, emotional, psychological issues are absolutely, absolutely critical, and we got to understand those. But from a physiologic perspective, it's too much and too little. Deficiency and toxicity. We change our bodies. We change our disease states, whatever those may be, psoriasis, cancer, autoimmune diseases, diabetes, whatever it is. We change these disease states by putting in what's missing and removing what's toxic. Disease, be gone. That's it. Put in what's missing. Take out what's toxic. Now, we've talked a lot, a lot the last few months about the connective tissue and for good reason. Our connective tissue is a body within a body. That's how you want to think of it. It's like an interior body. If you've ever seen uh, the uh, museum exhibit it's called Bodies, I think that's what it's called. It's called, uh, just Google Bodies. If you Google Bodies Museum Exhibit, B-O-D-I-E-S, you'll see a visual representation in the, uh, in the imagery of a body within a body. Or if you've ever seen the bodies exhibit, you know what I'm talking about. Our inside our body, underneath our skin, we have another body. And this is a body made up of belts and bands and web-like fibers of various thicknesses, almost like an ace bandage. If you've ever sprained your ankle or, or your elbow and had a trainer or somebody you knew or a doctor or nurse wrap an ace bandage around your ankle, that's what the connective tissue is like. It's like a biological ace bandage inside our body, and it's, it wraps everything together. It wraps all of our cells together. It wraps all of our tissues together, all of our organs together into one homogenous unit. And this connective tissue is no mere connecting force, uh, although yes, it's vital as a connecting force, but it's also electrical. It's absolutely unbelievable how electrical this system is. The connective tissue made up of belts and bands and webs is piezoelectric. That is, mean, it means as it pulls or as pressure is applied to it, it generates an electrical charge. It's pyroelectric. That means as heat is applied to it, heat from our blood or heat that's generated from movement, 
as heat is applied to this connective tissue, it generates an electrical charge. It is ferroelectric. That means it spontaneously generates an electrical charge. You guys, this is so unbelievable. We are electrical beings. And even cooler, we are beings of light. Spiritual circles and, and esoteric circles have always talked about the light body. Well, it's not just woo-woo. It's not just spiritual. It's not just esoteric. It's literal. There's a, a very important relationship between electrical uh, electrons, pieces of electricity, and light, photons. Photons get converted into electrons. Electrons get converted into photons. Electricity and light go back and forth. The very nature of light energy is to interact with electrical energy and vice versa. So where you have electricity, you have light. So we are light beings. Our connective tissue is generating light. Unless you think that this is some kind of airy-fairy idea, Google biophotons. This is not airy-fairy. This is a hardcore science. It's been measured. In, 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 there's hundreds, if not thousands, of scientific papers that talk about biophotons. Electrons, photons, electricity, light, we are everything. We're, we are electrical beings. We're light beings. And it's not just these biophotons are not just emitted, they're also absorbed. We absorb light. We're like solar beings. All of this light ultimately comes from the sun. We are, we are sun beings. Bone cells are electrical. Do you know how that, that bone cells grow and emit collagen to build bones based on electrical, on, on electrical energy that is conducted via pressure? piezoelectricity. So as bone cells get pressurized, as weight is put on our bones, electrical conduction stimulates the production of more bones. This is why working out is the best thing you could do for your bones. This is why weight-bearing exercises are so important. They facilitate electrical energy. Bone being a connective tissue, pressure and weight and resistance training, exercise, upregulate electrical energy through the connective tissue. The blood is also electrical. The blood is another version of the connective tissue. Blood is connective tissue. And the blood carries an electrical charge as it flows through the body. As the blood flows, it's generating electrical energy. It's becoming more electrified. It's delivering those, those elect, uh, that electricity to the various cells of the body. As the blood becomes sluggish with digestive toxicity and the accumulation of sugar poisoning, electrical energy slows down as well. Oxygenation slows down as well. Nutrient delivery slows down as well. Our vitality becomes decreased, and this will inevit inevitably result in disease. Do you hear anywhere here uh, and the need for a drug? There's nothing a drug can do except suppress this. There's nothing a drug can do except deprive us of vitality. There's nothing a drug can do to heal us, period, end of story. And you know your healthcare professional is not interested in health if he's drugging you. If you are being dispensed a prescription medicine, your healthcare professional doesn't understand health, period. There is nothing healthy about a prescription drug. Take that from a pharmacist. And of course, we've talked about the skin and we'll continue talking about the skin. The skin is piezoelectric. The skin is pyroelectric. The skin generates an electrical charge. The skin has a biophotonic nature. That is, it emits light. Your skin emits light. This is so unbelievable. This is only stuff that we've recognized over the last 20 or 30 years, that the skin emits light. This is from reading from the journal Skin Research and Technology, 1997. Uh, this was published in uh, November, 1997. Quote, for the first time, systemic measurements of low level luminescence, that is light, of the human skin have been performed by means of a photo detector device set up in darkness. The first time, that was 1997. These are all recent, uh, recent understandings, although intuitively we've, we've understood that the body is an, an electrical and a photonic system. But scientifically, these are very recent understandings. And we need to be able to leverage them if we're going to stay healthy. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. this okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. And we do have some lines open for you if you have questions about anything we're speaking here today about connective tissue, electricity, ferroelectricity, the body's ability to spontaneously conduct an electrical charge. I absolutely love that idea that we are electrical beings, that we're beings of light, and that it's our electrical nature that fundamentally at the, bo uh, the bottom line to our health is electrical. Chemistry works because it facilitates electrical energy. Vitamins and minerals 
and nutrition works because it facilitates electrical energy. We are fundamentally electrical beings. And of course, because of the relationship between electricity and light, we are light beings. That is amazing. We are light beings and we are electrical beings, and the only reason we don't know it is because we can't see it with our eyes. We can't see our electrical energy or our light energy with our eyes, but we can detect it with certain kinds of cameras and detecting devices. And that is absolutely, absolutely mind-blowing. In the future, we'll be able to see our diseases and, and diagnose our diseases and detect our di diseases by how well we're conducting and emitting light energy. 844-236-6010 is our number from the University of Washington and Boston University. High glucose levels could impair ferroelectricity in the body's connective tissues. How do you like that? Sugar messes up our electricity. Researchers from the University of Washington and Boston University have discovered a certain type of protein found in organs that repeatedly stretch and retract. That is the connective tissue. These organs uh, are found in the, uh, these organs like the heart and the lungs, they stretch, they contract, they generate an electrical charge as they do so. Researchers have found that there's a protein that's uh, in these kinds of organs, in the connective tissue that is the source, quote, for a favorable electrical property that could help build and support healthy connective tissue, unquote. When exposed to sugar, these proteins couldn't do their work. <laughs> When exposed to sugar, these proteins could no longer conduct an electrical charge. Sugar jacks up our electrical nature. All right, 844 Oh, here's another good one. This is a German study. Effective meditation on photon emission from hands and forehead. As we meditate, we generate an electrical charge more efficiently. How do you like that? Quote, the data support the hypothesis that human photon emission can be influenced by meditation. Lest you think that meditation is some kind of airy-fairy new age idea. You emit light more effectively when you meditate. All right, 844 Let's go to Alan in Texas. Good morning, Alan. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. Um, I have a chronic bronchial bronchitis, and uh, about twice a year it goes to deep bronchial infection, and about once a year it approaches pneumonia. Okay. But I try to fight it homeopathically and, and uh... don't fight it reverse it that's okay. the okay so and that's kind of, I'm not I'm not being facetious or, or trying to pick on you here but we don't want to fight our diseases we want to reverse them fighting is in the realm of the doctor forget fighting that doesn't work you can't fight your yeah. body you live in your body you don't want to fight your body you live the cells and the organs and the structures they're 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 your friends you don't want to fight them bronchitis uh, chronic bronchitis is an indicator that uh, that something's getting into your system that your body is not appreciating and you got to figure out what that is now it could be theoretically be something you're breathing in, like mold and fungus, but the first thing I would be focusing on is food. And it, it may not seem intuitive to make the link between something you're eating and your lungs, but because the, the blood, uh, because what we eat gets into the blood and the blood traverses the entire body, that's always the first thing to do. I don't know if, how long you've been listening to this program, and I don't mean to, to beat a dead horse because I say it all the time. Focus on food. Whenever you have chronic mucus secretion in the lungs or the respiratory tract, that's a sign that the body's protecting itself. Mucus is one of the ways the body slimes things out. Mucus is your friend. You know, they got these commercials now for, for drugs that, uh, for over-the-counter drugs and over-the-counter medication that suppress mucus. Not a good idea. Mucus is your friend. Are you, I imagine you're snotty and mucusy and you're coughing stuff up a lot, right? Right. That's all a sign that your body is trying to expel and protest, expel something and protect itself from something. And you got to figure out what that is. I would be doing, first and foremost, a swear OV cleanse or a fast. Uh, you, you fast for two or three days. That's the easiest. But you can also do a swear OV cleanse if you don't feel like fasting. A swear OV is a, a great longevity product that was formulated by Jordan Rubin. It's fermented whey as well as electrolytes. It's tasty. It'll give you energy. And by the way, you don't need to do a full-blown cleanse to benefit from the swear OV. It makes a great snack, uh, middle of the day, a beverage. It also will give you energy. Just even if you just drink it, it'll give you energy and it'll fill you up. But if you want to, uh, if you're trying to diagnose yourself, if you're trying to figure out what's causing a problem, doing a swear OV cleanse or a fast is the first step, always. 
Then when you start eating again, start eating your favorite food. And what you'll notice more than likely is your favorite food is going to increase mucus secretion. It's going to stimulate mucus secretion. It's going to make you cough. It's going to cause the symptoms that you're attributing to, that you're calling bronchitis, chronic bronchitis. Then you eliminate those foods. It won't take very long. If, if it's a chronic condition, it's something you're doing all the time, Alan. So more than likely, it has to do with your favorite food, which everybody has. Everybody's got a favorite food. Usually, it's some kind of carbohydrate because... Stress increases carbohydrate, uh, uh, the desire for sugar. Stress will always increase the desire for sugar, and the world we live in is a stressful world. And then on top of that, you get this vicious cycle because physiologic stress that's caused by whatever we're eating will cause us to eat more. So uh, it won't take very long, Alan. It'll, you'll, you'll figure this out in the first few days. Now, there's also some things that you could do to, to protect your body or to strengthen your body so it doesn't have to respond as dramatically with mucus. Vitamin C is your first, it should always be the first thing you think of when it comes to the immune system. High doses, 1,000 to 5,000 milligrams a day or more. You always want to do your vitamin C in divided doses because it can cause a little bit of digestive discomfort, bloating, gas, diarrhea. These are not uncommon when people start doing high doses of vitamin C. So uh, uh, start off with maybe a gram every couple of hours or two grams, maybe three grams a day total. So a gram every four hours, say. And then work yourself up to maybe two grams every four hours kind of thing. Vitamin E is also very important for the lungs and also for the immune system. I'd be doing 400 international units a day of vitamin E. And then uh, you can use the mixed tocopherols or the tocotrienol form. Those are a little bit more effective than the kind, the regular kind, which is alpha tocopherol. And then something called NAC, which I talk about a lot on this program. NAC is also very helpful for the lungs. In fact, NAC is actually a prescription drug, a prescription drug for the lungs called Mucomist. But you can get NAC at the health food store. 400 milligrams, maybe once or twice a day of NAC. NAC works hand in hand with vitamin E and selenium. Uh, so I'd also be throwing in some of our ultimate selenium, 400 to 600 micrograms a day, as well as alpha lipoic acid, 400 milligrams a day. Make sure you're on the Healthy Start Pack. That'll get you your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, with, which is like a multiple vitamin. And it will also get you your essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs, which can also be helpful for the lungs, just helpful for everything, but has a specific relevance for lung health. Your ultimate EFAs, I'd be doing nine a day. If you want to throw a couple more things in, do our Fucoid Z, uh, which is a general blood blood tonic and get on our nightly essence probiotics, the absolute finest probiotic supplement, the best probiotic supplement that I've seen. It's formulated by a good friend of mine and uh, it also has digestive enzymes in there as well. Focus on food, my friend. That's really the, that's the bottom line of all health challenges, but particularly if you're dealing with mucus or some kind of, uh, some kind of immune response. Hope that helps, Alan. If you want to uh, hang on, we got to take a break and we can finish up when we come back. Otherwise, uh, have yourself an awesome, yeah, beautiful day. Thank you so much. I'll take care. 844 236 6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844 236 6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's go to Colorado. Let's stay in Colorado. And welcome Joe to The Bright Side. Hey, Joe. Uh, Jim. Oh, Jim. I'm sorry. Hi, Jim. Good no, morning. No problem. Um, I sent you an email last night to KFCO, uh, Ben at KFCO.com. Is that right? Actually, KSCO. S is in Sam, not F is in Frank. Oh, okay. Well, That's probably why that I didn't again. get it. But I, I am a little behind on my emails, I have to tell you. No okay. problem. Okay. Uh, PRP, I talked to you about this last week. Um, That's your pityriasis? Are you talking about yeah. pityriasis? Yeah. Rubra okay. polaris, yeah. Okay, I've got I love this, that. Uh, lesions all over my body, 100% scalp to toenails. I'm losing my fingernails. Uh, they're just deteriorating. I don't know if that's due to wearing these gloves all the time, final No, gloves. you're falling apart, dude. And it's as simple as that. I okay. don't mean to be mean, but, but I no, want to simplify. Okay. okay, I'm just trying to simplify things. You're falling apart. Mm -hmm. we got to correct it. Now, when it's dramatic, which it sounds like it's dramatic, how do you have it on your nails, by the way? What's your, what are your nails? I, I, I sent you some, I'll send you 
send you the pictures. And, uh, okay. It's, are your nails uh, thinning, or are they bruised, or what? It, no, they look like they're just, uh, like you say, falling apart. They're just, uh, yeah. the whole integrity of the nail is, the top part is, is uh, shredding off, and it looks like All right. the material underneath is shredded. Yep, yeah, here's the deal. And it's it not does that, it gr- grows back into your skin, because I have this dead skin on my fingernails. It, like, ingrown itself. Says yeah. it gets ingrown, it must be painful. That's that's terrible. But but here's yeah. the thing, and I, I probably told you this. I probably said this to you uh, when you called last. The worse it is, the quicker you can resolve it. That means because w- when it's really dramatic like that, which it sounds like it is for you, um, yeah. that means there's something going on that's that's really obvious and that you're missing. When the body is in distress, it or in deficiency condition, in deficiency state, it will pull in its resources to the center of your body, away from the skin and the nail. Because the because the internal viscera, the heart and the lungs and the spleen are more important than the external part, than the extremities. So what you're looking at is a pretty severe deficiency or toxicity, because those are the only two oh, yeah. things that it could be. First things first, toxicity first, and that means digestive toxicity. There's no way, Jim, no way that you don't have a, a digestive health challenge that is dramatic. Okay, now you're in your 40s or 50s, correct? I'm 73. Just oh, you're 73. 73. Okay, well, God bless you. You sound awesome. So uh, if you're 73, uh, that means you have to know that you have some kind of digestive thing that's been going on for a long time, not a short time, for decades. Am I, you understand what I'm saying? Is this something that sounds familiar to you? You don't have to, we don't need to get into the details now, but I just want to know, does that sound familiar? If it doesn't, you've got to find yeah. it. Okay, uh, so it's good. You're ahead of the game. If you know that they're there, you're ahead of the game. That means you 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 got, you're, you got a head start. If you don't know that they're there, then you're going to have to t- uh, take some time to find them. Okay. I'm three but, days into another juice fast. I'm doing a juice fast right that's now. That's not smart. I mean, I don't mean that. That's not a good idea because you can have a problem with juice. You follow? Oh. And when you, when okay. you say juice, I assume you mean fruit juice, right? Oh no no no! I'm talking about just uh, uh, vegetables. Okay, so you can have a problem with vegetables. You know, a lot of people have problems with with what are called the nightshades, for example. Tomatoes no, can I'm be a problem. Doing, I'm not doing nightshades. Okay, so it doesn't matter, though. It could be something else. But Precipitous. be that as it may, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Better than eating. I mean, it's better than eating normally to do a juice fast. But personally, if I were, if it was me, I'd stop everything, and then incorporate your veggies one at a time, so you can assess what it's what's doing, what's mm-hmm. causing the problem. Or instead of adding your veggies one at a time, start as I was saying with our last caller with your favorite food, with your go-to food, with your comfort food, with the kind of food that you love the most, you eat the most, or the kind of food that you go to when you're under stress. We all have a favorite food like that, right? For most people, it's going to be bro- three day fast. I've I've tried that, and uh, but I when I inter- reintroduced things, I just went back to kind of eating no, the same old that, thing. Well, then you you know the three day fast <laughs> is good, but you don't get any information. You got to do it systematically, like you're a detective, right. like you're right. looking for a clue. You know, like you're like there's a murder mystery, or there's some kind of some kind of crime that's been committed, okay, and you're trying I to backtrack. That. Okay, good. Uh, what, so, uh, what can I do for my skin? I, I mean, I'm. Uh, you can't I'm do anything, dude. Because I'm Jim, scratching all Jim, the time. Jim, you're an intelligent guy, and I'm going to talk to you like an intelligent person. You can't do anything. The skin is an epiphenomena. That means okay. it follow. It's not the cause. It's the symptoms. It's like saying, "Oh, the leaves right. on my tree are all falling apart and they're rotten. What can I do to fix the leaves?" And then you go to the leaf guy and he says, "Well, you put this magical cream on the leaf, and all of a sudden the leaf is going to get better." You'd say that's crazy because the well, leaf is get the, to the root. Yes, exactly, exactly. You can't. Only a doctor will try to do something for the skin. Okay, an intelligent person would never do that because the skin is the end result. It's the turd in the toilet bowl. Yeah, right. Excuse my okay, French. I okay. I so it. you so what you have to do is you have to get to the root and that's going to be digestive always. Now, here's some good nutrition for the skin that you want to get on right away, but until you figure out what's getting into the system that's busting it up, it's causing these problems, it, it's not going they're uh, you're not going to be able to to leverage the most power out of these nutrients, but still it's a good idea. EFAs all right, essential fats, vital, 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 vital. My concern with just telling you about EFAs is that fat absorption is so, it's so tricky. It requires bile from the liver. It requires good intestinal health. It requires probiotics. So I'm always hesitant to just to say, take these EFAs. Nonetheless, you might get some benefit. Get on the ultimate nightly essence. Do nine, I'm sorry, the ultimate uh, EFAs do nine a day. Even do 12 a day. Do now, you dose. What's that? 
I'm okay, Udo's, Udo's is good. Oil. Udo's is good. Udo's is good. Do like three or four tablespoons a day of the Udo's. Oh. Make sure okay. you're doing 400 international units a day of vitamin E with your Udo's. All right, so 400 international units a day or even 800 international units a day. Okay? Make sure you're using some selenium. I'd be using 600 micrograms a day of selenium. Make sure you're okay. on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And then, with your fatty nutrients, uh, uh, excuse me, make sure you're doing 50 milligrams a day of zinc. And make sure you're doing um, uh, 20,000 20, IU a day of vitamin A. These are all very important for skin health. However, you want to make sure you're absorbing these nutrients, so do bile salts every day, and you'll get those in the ultimate enzymes. In fact, do the ultimate enzymes, and then maybe go to Vitamin Cottage. You live in Colorado, so just pop into Vitamin Cottage. Get some extra uh, bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts, and then also some apple cider vinegar with your enzymes. And do, uh, make sure you're doing enough fermented food and, um, and uh, sauerkraut, especially in cabbage soup. And then bone soup can also be helpful. That's the cartilage and bone. Do it all day. And then uh, I, it might not hurt you to do some aloe vera. But again, all of these supplements that I just listed for you are not going to be maximally affected until you, effective until you get, uh, get to the root of the digestive health issues. And the more prominent your digestive symptomology is, the easier it's going to be to find out what's causing the issue and to reverse it. Focus on the digestive system. That is the, it's, your body is screaming, I got a digestive problem. All right. And, I, and, uh, I'm, I'm laying down. I wasn't able to write all that down. Is there any way I can call me, that? man? Send me an email, Ben at KSCO.com. I'll work with you personally, and we can do this, Jim. Yeah. I'm guaranteeing you. You can find, you can get results within less than a week, and you yeah, can I've really. Been suffering it, with this for like 17 months. I'm going to make you into a case study, my friend. Call, okay. uh, send me an email with your phone number, and I'll call you. And, uh, and put your phone number in there, and I'll call you, and we'll work with you personally. Okay? And it's KFSO, like in no, Sam No, listen to me. You got a pen? No, I don't. I'm laying down. So. All right. Well, you have to listen, listen to the archives. I want to get one more call in. K okay. as in King, S as in Sam, C as in Cat, O as in Oscar, dot com. Thanks. Thanks, Jim. Take care, Thank brother. You. Bye-bye. All right, Mary. What's going on? Mary in Oregon. Is this my friend Mary? Yes, it is. Hey, we only got about a minute. I want to I want to help you out though. So let's go quick. Well, it's for my daughter. She wants to know the mechanism, all the detail you can give her about the acne product, why it works for when you have a hangover. Oh, my blemish repair complex you're talking about. Correct. Okay. One, there's different types of acne, but usually the liver is involved. And what I did when I formulated my blemish repair complex is I put nutrients in the blemish repair complex that are specific for the liver. So, for example, N-acetylcysteine, vitamin B5, a selenium. These are nutrients that are typically not found in an acne, in a, a acne supplement. And because they work with the liver, and not only is the liver important for skin health, but it's also important for detoxifying alcohol, you'll also get benefits for a hangover. Not only benefits for hangover after, you, after you're drinking, but benefits for, uh, for preventing a hangover uh, before you drink. So if you take the blemish repair repair complex on a regular basis, you'll find that you're not getting hung over as readily. You'll also find that you're not getting as intoxicated as readily because your body is clearing out the alcohol more effectively. So I, I'm not selling it as a hangover remedy, but it, it does have that benefit. It also will help detoxify drugs too because the liver is responsible for clearing out prescription medication out of the system too. Hope that helps, Mary. We're just out of time. And you can call, always call back tomorrow if you want more information. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. And thank you to everybody for calling, for listening. And uh, for loving the bright side, I appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for listening. Have a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.